This is a quick video showing the setup and enrolling process of the RE208 Honeywell compatible hardwire to wireless translator into a 2 gig Go control panel. Looking at the inside of our translator, we see two antennas, a green LED and a red LED, the terminals for hardwired connections 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, a power terminal for a max power of 9 volts AC or 12 volts DC where polarity does not matter a tamper, and a battery bucket. Important tip, we strongly recommend only one hardwired connection per terminal. I'll show you the hookup process of the hardwired door contact and the hardwired motion sensor into our translator. Taking the wires for the front door contact, I take the first wire and connect it to the left hand side of the loop one terminal and secure it. Then I take my 4.7K resistor that has been provided and secure that to the second wire and secure that to the other side of the terminal. Now I'm going to take my hardwired connections for the motion sensor and do the same hookup on loop 8 as I did on the loop 1 terminal. I don't have to short out the terminals I'm not using. I leave my power wires for my motion in the old can. If you want to take out the old can, power the hardwired motion or glass brake with a battery backed 12 volt DC power supply. First we will need to enter the system configuration. By pressing the little Go Control icon on the bottom right hand side of the screen, enter the installer's code and press the system configuration key. I select a zone number, push the down key, and I select zone type 04, interior follower. I push the down key and enter motion for my equipment type. For equipment code I enter 0609, push the down key, and press the shift key then the learn key. It is waiting for a sensor to be activated. So I go to my translator and short out the loop 8 terminal with a piece of wire or paper clip. This sends a wireless tamper signal for the terminal itself. The control panel will beep indicating that a sensor has been enrolled. And I press the next key, equipment age is new, and change the loop number to 2. Pressing the down key there are options you can set to your needs. And I press the edit next sensor key. I select a zone number and zone type for the door window sensor. And press the down key. I leave the equipment type as contact and enter equipment code 0655. I press the down key, then press the shift key and the learn key. It's now waiting for a sensor to be transmitted. So I go over to my translator and short out the loop 1 terminal like I did with the loop 8 terminal. The control panel will beep indicating that a sensor has been enrolled and I hit the next key and select equipment age new. I select loop number 2 and press the down key and then press the edit next sensors key. I'm going to enroll my translator next and this is recommended for supervision, tamper, and low battery notifications. I select a zone number and select my zone type 08 for 24 hour auxiliary. I press the down key and enter equipment code 0873. I press the down key, then press the shift key and the learn key. It's now waiting for a sensor to be transmitted, so I go over to my translator and tamper the device itself. I press the next key and select equipment age new. I select loop number two and press the down key and save and exit. I'm now ready to test if everything has enrolled in correctly. Walking in front of the motion sensor will cause the control panel to say it's not ready to arm, and that will return to ready to arm when the motion restores. Opening my contact will cause the control panel to say it's not ready to arm, and closing the contact, the control panel returns to ready to arm. And this was the setup and enrolling process of the RE208 Honeywell compatible hardwire to wireless translator into a 2GIG GO control panel.